Hey, what's up? It's Ed from I Bring Back. If you survived the last video and came back with us, I am shocked, I am deeply grateful, and I am excited to dive into some new Python content with you in our video today. So we're going to be looking at modules in Python. We've made use of them before. If you remember the time that we spent on import statements where we can pull in functions or whole groups of functions from outside sources, we were pulling them from modules. So instead of using other people's stuff, we're going to spend some time today writing our own modules and looking at how that might be useful to us. So without further ado, let's take a look. Already, and as usual in this context, the Python documentation is especially helpful, and their description of modules is succinct and informative. Very basically, modules are something that allows us to reuse the code that we write in multiple instances. So like I said, you make a function or a collection of functions, you want to be able to pull that in in a variety of different scripts or programs you're writing. A module makes that very convenient, very easy. Python makes that a piece of cake. So let's take a look at how we would do this. Alrighty, so here in all of its glory is our module. And we're just going to call it episode34.py or ep34.py. It's got two functions. One of them takes some arguments, the other doesn't. Nothing too wild here. But I want to call attention to one thing, and that is that I have saved this on my desktop. And the only other file on the desktop is episode34.test, which is the script which simply imports that. If you don't believe me, let's take a look here. There it is. And so the reason that I've saved them on my desktop is to show you that they need to have the same location. The, the, the module you want to import needs to be in the working directory, which will be by, by default the directory where the uh, the script is saved and which you used to use that wish to use that module. Now that's not the case for things that are built in or things that we install. So we went and installed that Google Maps stuff in a previous video, or we've used the time module that comes built in in previous videos. Those have specified paths where they live. If you're looking to import a module you've written yourself. Um, the simplest way to do that is to have it in the same working directory. So these are both on the desktop. Let's see if it works. So all we're going to do in this episode 34 test up high script is import that episode 34 module. So for Nash F5 to run it, hey look, no errors at all. That's promising. So let's try dot. Mm -hmm. Oh, 43 isn't going to do it. Let's try F34 dot test. Oh, test print was a simpler one. And it says it's a function. Let's see if we can get that function to run. You imported it. How about that? So we have successfully created the module and brought that module in to our script. So let's go back to our script here and see if we can make use of it. We'll do something like app 34 add 5 and 4. And let's save that. Run this thing. Come back over gives us nine. So that looks about like we've got it. So nothing too terribly wild there. I just mentioned this as an alternative to creating classes. If you want to make something that you can reuse that's just functions, you can write it into a module. And it's important to write functions in your modules that know what kind of input they need, that have much better notation than I've given you here, and, uh, and documentation, things like that. But that's just a brief exploration of how to write a Python module. So we'll continue in the future to explore more and more expansive topics in Python. Just wanted to make sure we got this little corner of the world covered. It's clear from this video we're going to have to spend some time on what it means to have a working directory and how to navigate through file systems in Python. That'll be a blast, so stick around. You might just see it happen again. This is Ed working for my bring back. Appreciate you spending time with us. Keep coming back. Keep pushing play. We will keep trying to make you good content.